Hi there. In this video, we will go over understanding the difference between Amazon Web Service Auto Scaling versus Amazon Web Service EC2 Auto Scaling for the purpose of the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam. First, we will cover what is AWS EC2 Auto Scaling. Now, if a business tries to provision resources manually and tries to forecast its expected application network traffic and then manually provisions the amount of resources it determines to handle its network traffic, it may lead to a situation where the business may over provision resources during periods of low demand. The number of instances may be simply too many for very low application network traffic. However, even though they may have provisioned a number of resources, when demand may spike suddenly, the business may face themselves to be under-provisioned and not have enough EC2 instances to handle the demand spike. To handle this, we have Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling. Amazon EC2 Auto Scaling helps ensure you have the correct number of Amazon EC2 instances which are available to handle the load for your application. Businesses normally pair Elastic Load Balancing with EC2 Auto Scaling. Elastic Load Balancing automatically checks network traffic and then Load Balancing distributes the network traffic across EC2 instances. Here, Auto Scaling will then take over. Based on an increase in network traffic, Auto Scaling will automatically create Auto Scaling groups which will add necessary amount of instances as defined in your configurations. Based on the network traffic, auto scaling will allow auto scaling groups to be created to manage the additional network traffic. Once the network traffic reduces and goes back to normal, it will automatically delete additional auto scaling groups created and delete instances which are not required, reducing the number of instances that is just appropriate for your application network traffic. This is how EC2 Auto Scaling ensures you never are over provisioned or under provisioned for any network application traffic spikes or dips. Now we will go over what is Amazon Web Service Auto Scaling. Amazon Auto Scaling simply combines EC2 Auto Scaling and Application Auto Scaling to simplify the scaling experience by allowing you to scale collection of re related resources that support your application with just a few clicks. Auto scaling is one level on top of EC2 auto scaling, which we discussed in the previous slide, and also introduces application auto scaling. EC2 auto scaling, as mentioned in the previous slide, helps you ensure you have the correct number of EC2 instances available to handle the load for your application. To scale resources other than EC2, you can use the application auto scaling which allows you to define scaling policies to automatically scale your AWS resources or schedule one-time or recurring scaling actions. Application auto scaling helps to scale elastic container services, EC2 spot fleets, EMR clusters, Amazon AppStream fleets, provisioned read and write capacity for Amazon DynamoDB tables, Amazon Aurora replicas, and Amazon SageMaker endpoint variants. So finally, what are the key differences between AWS Auto Scaling and AWS EC2 Auto Scaling? The first difference for the purpose of the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam is the service category type. EC2 Auto Scaling falls under compute service, whereas AWS Auto Scaling falls under management and governance. What is the service use case? The service use case of EC2 Auto Scaling is to automatically scale EC2 instances either with scaling policies or with a scheduled scaling. Auto Scaling helps to scale resources other than EC2 and you combine Auto Scaling with EC2 Auto Scaling and Application Auto Scaling. You use scaling plans to set up scaling policies across a collection of supported resources for, from services including Aurora, DynamoDB, EC2 and Elastic Container Services. 
in order to enable predictive scaling for EC2 auto scaling groups. What are the core benefits? EC2 auto scaling helps automatically increase the number of EC2 instances needed during demand spikes. It also helps to detect and replace unhealthy instances. AWS auto scaling provides a unified scaling experience for all the scalable resources that are powering your application. So this covers the key differences between AWS auto scaling and Amazon Web Service EC2 auto scaling for the purpose of the certified cloud practitioner exam. In our next video, we will go over 10 revision questions for migration and innovation, which are part of AWS certified cloud practitioner exam curriculum from domain three technology and under 3.4 identify resources for technology support. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep getting our videos because we keep on sharing many exam tips and we create free exams for the AWS certified cloud practitioner exam. Thanks and have a great day.